Gibraltar seems to like the end of the world to me. In fact, this is a small England with wild monkeys, a magical cave and unique airport crossing a busy highway. The narrowest point of the Strait of Gibraltar between Spain and Morocco. It's only 14 kilometers. From the rock you can see two shores at once. Spanish and Moroccan. The ancient believed that Gibraltar was the end of the earth and then only the abyss. This is one of the wonders of Gibraltar, St. Michael Cave. It was long believed to be bottomless. This probably gave birth to the story that the rock of Gibraltar was linked to the Africa by a subterranean passage under the Strait of Gibraltar. The famous monkeys were said to have come to Gibraltar through this passage. During the Second World War, the cave was prepared as an emergency hospital, but was never used as such. The Awakening is an immersive light and sound installation expressing layer upon layer of history fused with the rock. Definitely, monkeys are one of the main attractions of Gibraltar. There is a belief that the area will remain British as long as at least one Magota monkey remains here. Magota is a unique species of monkeys living outside Asia only on the territory of Gibraltar. There is a historical aphorism here. We will guard the monkeys to the very last Englishman. Currently, there are roughly 300 monkeys divided into five troops that live in the area known as the Upper Rock. With a nod to new technologies, today the animals are given a tattoo number and microchip as a means of identification. Each day, they receive a supply of fresh water, are given vegetables, fruits and seeds. Monkeys are regularly caught and checked to assure their good health. It's interesting to know that one of the governors of Gibraltar, back in the late 1800s, would not allow the monkeys to be taken from the rock or molested in any way. As well as that, in 1942, after the population had dwindled, to dust seven of the Barbary macaques remaining, the British Prime Minister of the time, Sir Winston Churchill, ordered that the numbers of the monkeys of Gibraltar be replenished immediately from both Morocco and Algeria due to this traditional belief. Anyway, when you go to Gibraltar, you should remember that they are wild animals and are very capable of scratching or biting you, even if it's on playful terms. All in all, a visit to Gibraltar would certainly not be complete without having seen the Gibraltar monkeys up close. It's an experience of a lifetime and definitely not one that should be missed. This green island of the rainforest is like a sip of fresh water on the rock. Despite the harsh conditions of plants, pine trees and wild olives grow here, and Cape Europe, south of Gibraltar, is covered with shrubs and grass. At the end of the 18th century, Gibraltar was under siege by France, Spain and Holland for four long years. I took some photos from the city under siege exhibition.
What do you think these children and teenagers are? I can only assume that this is a Gibraltar Boy Scouts and Girl Scouts team parrot. And the numerous accompanies and spectators are their parents and relatives. What do you think? As Hans Christian Andersen said, traveling means living. Travel, friends, as often as possible.